Good evening. Welcome tonight. Getting everything set up and we're going to move forward with our broadcast. Hello, welcome to Status Changes Wellness TV. Our network is a movement implementing wellness in every area of your life through weekly teaching, motivation, financial strategies, health and fitness tips, even building your brand, wellness recovery and ministry moments. Status Changes Wellness TV, we are here to empower you, encourage you, and teach you how to eradicate obstacles that have tried to stop you. I am Serapia Jones-Hall, and this is your network. All right. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for tuning in tonight for Status Changers Wellness TV Network. Woo! We are here again. Oh, my God. It seemed like Wednesday night took forever to get here. And so we are here in a new month, and we already know we're in a new year. So I am excited to be with you tonight. Again, I am Serapia Hall. And this is your network. <laughs> and don't you forget it. This is your network. And so on tonight, I want to connect. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I want to connect our Facebook friends. And so I'm going to click here and see if we can get our Facebook friends on. And um, they can join in with us, those that have not clicked the link um, for the actual uh, network they can just um, watch also from uh, Facebook. So I am getting them set up and um, we'll see how that works. All right, and so on this evening, so we know that this month is Black History Month. We know that this month also um, is, uh, many people celebrate Valentine's. If you're married, if you're single, you know, um, you're celebrating Valentine's. And so um, I do want to say this month, I'm, I'm ex extremely excited because we will be doing so much here um, on the TV network. Uh, my thing is I want to celebrate um, those who are um, black authors, black businesses, entrepreneurs, um, whatever it is that you're doing, I want to be a part of supporting you and um, creating this platform so that you can share with others, okay? Because we are in a time, in a season, that uh, the entrepreneurs are on the rise. Yes, those doors are opening and um, we are moving, we are shaking. And in, in that, we are uh, being able to create jobs, you know, for others. So it is a great opportunity and a great time for the entrepreneur or even that one that uh, wanted to be an entrepreneur. But all this time, you was like, I can't do it. I can't do it. But many have lost their jobs, you know, due to the pandemic. And so literally, uh, some of us was just thrusted out there. And so now it's like, this is what we're doing. Okay. And so uh, I definitely want to support and push black owners um, this month. So I want to just really celebrate us and um, we'll have some uh, speakers coming on, some authors. I'm, I'm connected to a phenomenal uh, team. Uh, we just, uh, we're releasing a book in March. It's the Testaments of Survivors. Um, the first edition came out um, 
which is volume one. It came out a few months ago. And then our volume, uh, it'll be coming out in March. So we are doing pre-orders. I am in that book, but I am, I'm also promoting the other book. So it's Testaments of Women, uh, Healed and Whole. Healed and whole. Isn't that wonderful to be healed and whole? And um, as you think about it, you know, the month of February, sometimes, you know, you need to be, you need some extra healing and, and you definitely need to be whole. And that goes for the man as well as the woman. All right. And so um, on tonight, I want to talk to you. Uh, tonight, we're going to talk to the women. <laughs> well, we might, I think we'll still talk to the men as well. But what I want to do, I want to play this song. I really want you to listen to this song. Um, it's, it's such a beautiful song. And um, I was listening to it earlier. And when I began to listen to it, I'm like, okay, I was going to talk about, I was going to do black history. And, um, but when I heard this song, it was like so perfect. And um, the reason is, you know, we're just, what, shy what is it, um, 11 days uh, before it's uh, Valentine's. And I know that uh, many people, you know, around this time, they struggle, you know, especially that single woman or that single man, you know, or that single man or single woman who have just broken up with somebody, you know, this time can be pretty difficult. And so I just wanna share a word with you and encourage you, those that are single, and this word will even bless those who are married. Um, I believe it's some things that um, sometimes we're not told before we get married, you know. And I believe that if some things we were told, I think a lot of us would be like a whole lot more, um, we would be better, you know. And when you hear what I have to say, you're going to be like, man, nobody told me that. Um, so let me play this song first. And the song is called, My Black is Beautiful, or You Are Beautiful. So listen to this song, and then we're going to go to the next part. I really wanted um, this song to be played. It's called, My Black is Beautiful. So listen to this song and, um, and be encouraged. Remember, 
men, women, young girls, young boys, the love of self is more precious than anything else. is beautiful. My black is beautiful. <laughs> and because we are celebrating this month black history. Oh wow. Okay, so there you don't have any volume. So just a second. Let me tell them to click the link and come on where you are. My goodness, they did not hear the song. Oh my god. Just a moment, let me tell them. My goodness. My goodness, they didn't hear it. My goodness. Your black is beautiful. Our black is beautiful. It's beautiful. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. We have to uh, own the skin that we're in. We have to own it. We have to own it. And I'm so excited to be celebrating Black History Month as a black woman. Yes, as a black woman. We are powerful. We are beautiful. We are strong. We are world changers. We're mothers. We're teachers. We're lovers. We're, we're all of these things. And we're unique, right? Our black men, our black children. I tell you, if I had heard when I was a little girl that my black was beautiful, that I was beautiful, Oh my God, it's some struggles I would not have dealt with. I would not have dealt with. So I am going to let you know how, how it was resolved. You know, sometimes we go through things in life. And it strickens or it tears apart who we are, our true identity. And I know that other culturals, they go through it. They do. I don't knock a Caucasian or Hispanic or Vietnamese or Korean. I don't knock any of their walks. But I don't know their walk. But I know my walk as a black woman. And so this month, I celebrate my blackness. <laughs> I celebrate being a black woman. And I want you to celebrate being that black woman, that black man. And don't walk around with your head hanging down. No, because you're not less than. We are not less than. And so because of situations and circumstances... It's kind of mess with our identity and our self-esteem and who we think we are. But you are somebody. You're not anybody. You somebody. You somebody awesome. You are a creator. We got to think about all those who went before us, who created, who built, who, met, who paved the way, those trailblazers. And even in all that they were going through, they had to find beauty within. 
with them not having all the necess necessary things, the necessities of life, not having the running water or even having more than two Sunday dresses, not having the things that we have today, but I believe because I saw, we see, we see them when they speak, when they told their speeches and when they were bold enough to create the things that they created, when they stood up to master, even though they knew they probably was going to get stripes, a whipping, but they boldly stood up. And I believe that as that black man, that black husband looked in his black wife, her eyes. I believe he looked at her and he saw the most beautiful woman in the whole world. She was beautiful to him and he was handsome and charming to her. And they made beautiful black babies. <laughs> this is Black History Month. And so as I began to listen to this song, it just, it just pierced my heart, y'all. Because there was a time I didn't think my black was beautiful. There was a time I didn't think I was a beautiful black woman. There was a time I did not like my full lips and my full nose. Or even how I articulate words. I didn't even like the shape that I have. I wanted to be smaller. But we, black women, we are blessed. And some of us are blessed more than others. We're blessed. Our men, the black man, hmm, can't nobody compare to our black men. And we love our black men. That smooth chocolate or that caramel, <laughs> we love our black men. And just like they love their black women. And we love our black children. All the different shades and colors and personalities and creativity. So, why am I saying all of this? Well, first of all, I wanted to encourage you to own who you are. I wanted to encourage you as a single black woman that's waiting for a husband or a single black man that's seeking and looking for a wife. I wanted to encourage you. Because I was reading this book and I found out a secret that many, I know for a fact, don't know. Because as any color, Caucasian, Hispanic, Korean, Nigerian, any race, you always hear, prepare yourself to be a wife. And then the man always hear, prepare yourself to be a husband. And they are beautiful things. Marriage and family is beautiful. God blesses the marriage, right? But I was reading this book and it began to talk about singleness, being single. And let me see, I have some definitions here. Okay, it was a book for, by Miles Monroe. And what really caught my attention is when he began to talk about being single. You know, we make that word single uh, to be a bad word or like it's something bad. And y'all, the purpose of me talking about this, the title of our broadcast is There's Nothing Wrong With Being Single. There is nothing wrong with being single, especially when you're not single. You'll catch that in a moment as I explain. There's nothing wrong with being single when you're not single. So there's a difference. There's a difference between being single and being in singleness and being lonely. And I believe the two are joined together and they're two separate things, okay? And so singleness, I believe, brings about confusion. 
And everybody, you know, as you become, you, you begin to become that woman or you begin to become that man and, you know, your mother, I'm waiting for grandchildren. Hurry up and get married. I'm ready for my grandchildren. And so a lot of times you're prepared to be a wife and then the man is prepared to find, to find a wife and be a husband, to be a provider, you know, and it's beautiful. There's nothing wrong with it. But what happens is, is this process of singleness, it gets literally leaped over. Like it's not dealt with enough. I believe some people have gotten it, but the majority, marriage council, they don't tell you that. Ma uh, marriage ministry, the single ministry, sometimes you don't hear about that singleness, okay? And then some people, they don't, you know, they don't get the counsel. They don't get the teaching. So let me read this to you. And then I'm going to read the definition of loneliness, okay? I hope that you're enjoying this. Let me see if I can look on the screen and see. Um, you can uh, talk back to me in the chat. Let me uh, make sure the volume is down on this other computer. Because um, you can uh, type in the chat. The chat is live. So if you want to talk to me, you want to ask some questions, you are very welcome to do so. So I got that screen pulled up. All right. So what is singleness? Yes. What is singleness? What does it mean to be single? Any dictionary de definition will have these words. A synonym for them means, now listen, as they say, listen, Linda, listen. Singleness, to be single means to be separate, to be unique, and to be whole. Oh my God. It means to be separate, to be unique, and to be whole. Do you know that many that seek marriage or are pruned and pushed for marriage. They don't know how to be separate. They don't know that they're unique and they definitely are not whole. So we wonder why so many divorces. We wonder why you know, people in marriages and they're miserable. We wonder why when Valentine's come and you don't have a boo, you're sad. You're feeling bad. You're looking at the married couples and you're envying them. You're rolling your eyes and you want somebody to hug you. You want somebody to kiss you. You want somebody to say, I love you. But when you learn and understand that when you're single, in your singleness, you are unique. There's something special about you and, and you're whole, okay? That means you know who you are. That means you know what you want, right? That means when you connect to that man or when you connect to that woman, y'all gonna come together and it's gonna be beautiful because it's two whole beings, right? You know your uniqueness. You're not trying to figure out who you are, right? You don't have lost identity. You're not confused. You know, oh, I maybe, I don't know. I want to lose weight. I don't want to lose weight. I want long hair. I want short hair. I don't know. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. I want to be a teacher. I just don't know what I want to do. Do I really want to be married? Do I want to have children? I just don't know. You just don't know who you are. You want to connect with somebody when you know who you are. And when you embrace it, you got to embrace your uniqueness. You see, you can't uh, 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 look for somebody else to do it. You got to embrace who you are. And then you have to do what you need to do to be, what was that word? Whole. You have to get the things that you need in life to be whole. Many of us have went through trials and many of us have been through some traumas and many of us have been through some loss and some rejection and several things have happened. 
So it is best. I know it's Valentine's coming up in 11 days. I know. I know you want some chocolates and you want some roses and you want a card and you know, I know. But are you whole? Can you buy you some roses? Or men, can you buy you some cologne? Can you take you out to eat and be content without taking yourself out to eat, looking sad, looking pitiful? You didn't dress yourself up, hooked yourself up, and you over there looking pitiful because you see them over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, that means you're not whole yet. Okay, let's go to this other part. Let's look at, um, so you have singleness. Then you have loneliness, okay? There's a difference, okay? Let me see what this definition says. Just a moment. Yeah, I hope you're enjoying this broadcast on tonight. <laughs> I know it's a little bit different, but we're in a new month. We're in a new month. And I know this is the month, they say the month of love. And we need to know how to love ourselves. Love thyself first. Because if you don't know how to love you, how are you going to know how to love somebody else? Hello, like they say in church. Hello, lights, cameras, and walls, or however. Okay, so here's the thing. Here's the definition for loneliness. Sadness because one has no friends or company. Feelings of depression. Um, the quality of being un frequented and remote okay isolation okay um listen <laughs> singleness is being single at heart is unique is whole is separate but loneliness is depressing it's needy I want somebody to hold me. I want somebody to talk to me. I want somebody to buy me some chocolates. I want them to buy me a teddy bear. Propose to me something. I can't take it anymore. What's wrong with me? Why am I still single? Why? Why does she have somebody? Why does he have somebody? Why am I still single? Are you whole? <laughs> Have you owned your uniqueness? Those are questions you need to ask yourself. Do you know who you are? Do you embrace you? Do you embrace your imperfections? Because listen, if you do not, and you connect to somebody else with the same issues that you got, and they're not owning their imperfections and they don't know who they are, it's going to be a bumpy ride. So it's Valentine's. It's coming up. This is the month. You know, this, you know, they... It's the love month. You know, they talk about shooting the cupid and shooting the arrow and all this kind of stuff. I don't believe in all that, okay? But I do believe in love, right? I'm not single, but I want to come on here and talk to the single woman, talk to the single man, talk to the married woman, and talk to the married man. Why? Because many have joined together and wasn't first single. So they didn't know their uniqueness and it wasn't whole. And I'm talking to you that are single and you're feeling kind of lonely and you're feeling some kind of way because you ain't got no boo. Ain't nobody taking you out to eat and I did say ain't nobody. They're not taking you out to eat. You, you're not getting any flowers and nobody's, uh, 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 there's not a special telegram coming to your job. And you have, and you're seeing other people, you know, flowers is coming, limo, pull it up, whatever, gift card. Oh, he, he, oh, I love you too. Mm -hmm. You see the phone calls and you feel it all some kind of way. 
I want to encourage you. If Valentine's jacks you up, if Valentine's make you call somebody you know ain't good for you, hello, woman, man, boy, girl, you find yourself connecting or them connecting to you just around this time, you're more than that. You're more than a one night stand. You're more than a dinner date and some roses and then you gotta give up your body. And I'm talking to the man and the woman because women will, women will use a man's body just like a, 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 one, a man would use a woman's body. Hello, it go both ways. Don't just think it's just the men getting over. Oh, you got some women like, mm, let me call my boo, he my, he my Valentine boo. I know he gonna get it right. Oh, let me call my other boo. He my Christmas boo. Come on. So, do not let this Valentine's be um, the Valentine's that you're depressed and, and you're sad. And, you know, don't get on that roller coaster again. This Valentine's. Why don't you take you out? Why don't you ask you some questions so you can know who you are and what you really like? You know, don't settle. Who, who, who do you really want to be with? What type of woman? What type of man? What's the personality? What do you really want to do? And then on the flip side, it talked about being whole. You got to examine yourself and see, is your heart really ready for love? Are you really ready to share everything? Are you really ready? Have you really been delivered from that past relationship or that childhood trauma, that rejection, that abandonment, that low self-esteem, are you really ready? Do not allow what's going on in the world, all, you know, all the stores, they got all the hearts and the big teddy bears and you go in the grocery stores or the restaurants and they playing all that ooey gooey music, you know, that love, love lullaby. Don't get sucked into that. You are wonderfully, you are beautiful and fearfully made. You are unique. If a relationship is going to take away your uniqueness in you being whole, that's not for you. So I want to say, even if you're married, the two, you need to find that singleness in you, your uniqueness. You need to make sure you heal so you can enjoy one another. So it can be a beautiful unity, okay? So this February, this Valentine's, listen, date you, learn you, buy something for you, and be okay in your singleness. Write out a vision board. Do your vision board date. Find others that are single. But make sure you find some that are whole. Because you don't need nobody. If you can't handle a person who got issues, serious, serious issues, you got to know. Because you don't need anybody to pull you down here when you're here and you're going here. And they want to stay there. Okay? They want that pity party. They want to feel like... There's nobody wants me. They want to stay there. And if that's where they are, then let them be right there. 
But if it's affecting you to where you're finding who you are and you're, you're becoming healed and you're enjoying your, you being unique, you're enjoying the things about you, and if they're taken away from you, you can't hang with them in that level. You got to find some people that's more where you are. All right, let me look at the chat and see um, what we're, what, I don't want to miss anybody just in case we got a question. Hello, hello. So if you come on, I don't know who's speaking <laughs> um, because we have numbers. I think there's a way for you to put your name in here. Yes, we have to appreciate what's within to appreciate what's on the on the outside more yes the gift is in the contents not always in the packaging that is right that sounds like somebody i know on here all right i'm so glad y'all are using the chat if you got any questions the most important relationship is the one you have with yourself do you love you Period. Period. Like that song was saying, my black is beautiful. Do, basically, it was saying what that question says. Do you love you? Because if you don't know how to love you, if you don't know how to take care of you, and when I say take care of you, that means you got to get healed. Get yourself healed, man. Get yourself healed, woman. Because if you're not healed and you don't know how to love you, how are you going to love somebody else? How are you going to be able to be there for them when they're going through? Listen, don't let society, don't let family pressure you into, uh, uh, and, I'm, and especially younger, this younger generation. Do not allow anyone to pressure you into a relationship that you know you're not ready for. It doesn't matter. I was reading in this book, so awesome. When God created, make sure I get it right. When, so when God created Adam, okay, Adam, was so content with who he was. He was so content with what God said he was going to do and who God said he was, right? He was so caught up and he was so confident, right? He wasn't looking for a wife. But it said, God said, man shall not be alone. God said. And so, when he gave Adam Eve, Adam was whole. He was working his calling. He was confident. He was preparing things. His money was right. His heart was right. He was like, I'm good. And God tapped him on his shoulder, say, but I got something for you. And he couldn't bring Eve until Eve was all that too. So you should be so caught up in who God say you are. You should be so caught up in your uniqueness, being unique, being whole that Mr. Right or Mrs. Right sneak up on you and you'll be like, oh my God. Oh yeah, that's her. Oh yeah, that's him. But you're already doing it. You're already feeling good about you. <laughs> they just helped put a little icing on, 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 on top of the cake, right? The cake already sweet, but you just add a little icing. All the ingredients that you need is in the cake. You didn't pop it in the oven. 
the temperature is just right, when it come out, it's firm, it's moist, and really, you be like, I really, this cake already good, right? And I love a lemon cake. This cake already good. But you know what? Let me just add a little ice into it. See, that's how you want to be. I'm already good. All the ingredients, I got them. It's in here. I'm operating. It's good. But, yeah, okay. I'm ready. I do want a family. I do want a wife. I do want a husband. So, this year, February 2021, find you. Find your uniqueness. Celebrate you. If you have never, ever dressed up and took yourself on a date, Bought yourself a bouquet of roses if that's your uh, 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 flower of choice. If you never bought yourself a box of candy because you want some of them chocolates, then this time, take yourself out. Do your hair for you. Or uh, get a haircut, man. Put that cologne on. Dress up. And when you do this, don't do it to say, ooh, baby, when I go tonight, mm, I might find Mr. Right. Or when I go tonight, I might find, no, 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 no. You're not doing this <laughs> to go find somebody else. You're doing this to find you. And the more you celebrate you, the more you look in the mirror and tell yourself you're beautiful, you're handsome. Some of you women might be like, baby, I didn't look at this mirror. I know I got a few extra pounds, but I still look good, right? Men, you may say the same thing. I got a little gray hair, but you know what? I ain't, I ain't too bad looking. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. So, this segment <laughs> was about it's okay to be single when you're not single. Yeah. So remember, being single means to be separate, means to be unique, and means to be whole. If you don't have those three things, I think um, you need to hold off. <laughs> I mean... Have a girls' night. Hang out with your girls. I know you're like tired of looking at, oh, man, I got to hang out with my sisters again. Well, until it's time. The party ain't got to stop because you don't have the opposite sex. Right? Don't, don't, you know, don't be a sellout. Young people, I know. I know. Peer pressure. I know. Young women, your mother, your family is stressing you to get married and you're like, I'm not ready. Marriage is a lifetime commitment. Marriage is beautiful. You be enjoying with somebody and they're being your best friend and you're doing everything together and you're building together. You're building a home. You're building a future. You're building a family. Marriage is beautiful. But it can be pretty straining or even hurtful if two people who have not owned the singleness, two people who do not know how unique and wonderful they are, two people who are not healed. They will, you know, you'll be robbed of the beauty of marriage. 
until you find out who you are and until you get the healing that you need. And so I don't knock marriage. I, marriage is beautiful. I love marriage. I knew I was a wife when I was a little girl. <laughs> but if I had learned and was taught and was shared about the singleness, owning my singleness, I think some of the mistakes that I've made through life in marriage, I wouldn't have made. So, I want to encourage you, man, woman, young girl, young man, to own your singleness. And do not confuse singleness with loneliness. Loneliness and depression has, it's not connected to singleness. And when you're feeling that, that means you need some healing. That means you need to take a, a self-reflection, self-examination. You need to look over some things. You need to backtrack of some things that may have triggered how you're feeling. Yeah. Let's see. Any other comments, questions, or comments? I'm so glad y'all joined me on tonight. Woo! This was like one of those segments, you know? <laughs> you never know what you're going to get at Status Changes Wellness TV Network. You just never know. And so, uh, because our thing is implementing wellness in every area of your life. Yes, in every area. And so... Um, definitely emotionally, right? You want to be emotionally healthy to be in any kind of relationship. You know? To have a best friend. If you emotionally a wreck, you know, that's going to be a strain on your friend. I remember those days when I was unhealed, <laughs> I was an emotional wreck, you know? And then I had people around me. They were, I didn't even think they could be way uh, off more than me, but they was, they really needed some emotional healing. <laughs> and some of them still need it today. But yeah, this is, um, yeah, 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 yeah. This was good. I hope that um, it brought some enlightenment to you. I hope that um, you were encouraged because as, as there is a countdown <laughs> to, uh, 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 what is it, Valentine's Day, there's a countdown. There's a countdown. And don't you, you know, don't be having them blues, singing them sad, sad songs. Mm-mm. No. You smile and you hold your head up. Put on you some cute clothes. Yeah. Y'all see my pink back there? Listen, I'm going to wear me some pink and some green. So y'all might get tired of my colors, but these are my colors. This is your network's colors. <laughs> but they bring me life. They bring me life, and you got to find out, you know, even even when I'm having a moment, you know, we all got a color that kind of just, whoo, you know, that, that, that makes a, make us, you know, lift us up. We all have a color. You got to know your color. I know my color. And I have a, another color I like, yellow <laughs> and orange. I like orange, too, but uh, I've been looking at that yellow, and I'm like, oh, my God, yellow is beautiful, too. So find your color, especially um, when I used to suffer with depression, okay? Um, I remember the Lord, he gave me pink years ago. It's been, oh my God, it's been about 18 years when he gave me the color pink. 
and um, it helped me uh, when I was, you know, bad relationships, you know, just going through things. And um, I remember I was just wearing all dark colors, blacks and browns and, you know, nothing that, you know, just just looked so gloomy. And I remember when he gave me the color pink and um, pink was therapy for me for a long time. And um, I remember I would go to certain places and um, I, would, I would not be feeling myself, you know. And I would get so many compliments and it would just lift me up. And um, when he gave me green, oh my God, I was like, yes, I love green. And when I see green, green is, oh my God, I just see life. I see abundance, I see prosperity, you know? So, uh, when I see green, oh my God. When I see the grass growing green and the trees are green, and uh, it's just life to me. So, green is my color. So you find your color and see what gives you life, okay? Especially when you're having them um, the, the moments of the singleness blues or loneliness blues. Um, find, you know, find something that helps lift your spirit at that moment. Um, because we all have moments. I dare not tell you, ooh, I'm just like this every day, you know. Um, I'm not like this every day. But for the most part, <laughs> if you know me, um, for the most part, this this me i love to laugh um yeah i love to laugh La laughing they say laughing is good it's medicine it's medicine and laughing is medicine it, it just you know uh sometimes i just find myself just thinking about something and just laughing you know and uh, laughing is healthy is healthy i don't know i like to laugh and um i'm a pretty joyous person so uh what you see is what you get you know, so, um, but that's all I have on tonight. I hope that this, uh, broadcast tonight has encouraged you. I hope that, um, you hear me in your ear as the days are getting closer and, um, when Valentine's Day come and you don't get a car, when you go buy you a car, but listen, if you want to find a card, the most prettiest card, and, and if it might cost $10, you might get you a card that when you open it up, it sings to you. It talk to you. You can close it, open, close it, open, and just let it talk to you. Okay? Get you one of them talking cards. <laughs> they got plenty of them. Get you one that it calls you and talks to you. You know, do whatever you need to do so that um, you don't go the same way you normally go, you know, during this time. But, um, yeah, this was our, our first um, broadcast for February. Like I said, I am super duper excited about this month um, because here at Status Changes Wellness TV Network, we are going to have some awesome, phenomenal, game-changing world changers up on here okay we are going to celebrate our blackness <laughs> we're gonna celebrate black history month we're gonna celebrate you okay if you're on here and you have a black business ministry author whatever it is that you're doing and you want the world to know about it I want you to connect with me, okay? Connect with me. I would love to interview you. I would love to share uh, what it is you're doing because my thing is this platform is not just for a door to be open for me, but it's a door to be open for you, okay? It's time. People need to know who you are. It's time. It's time for uh, what you've been doing, your little hobby, is really your business, okay? It's a hobby, long as don't nobody know about it, and you spending out all the money, and maybe your friends may buy some, and then you give it the rest of it away. No, 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 no. 
it's time for the revenue to come in. Okay? Cha-ching! It's time. So if you're Arthur, and I know, it, you know, this didn't happen overnight that I could sit on this camera and talk to people all over the world. Didn't happen overnight. But I overcame my fear and I overcame um, saying, oh, I don't like the way I sound. I don't like my voice. I don't like the way I look on camera. I got over that because I'm a status changer. Okay? I got somewhere to go. Okay? I got people to see. Like they say, listen, I need to come over here and talk to you. All right? And I've been owning the singleness, the uniqueness, and how healing, getting healed. So I get healed. I started loving me. I started saying, hey, my black is beautiful. My black is beautiful. Yeah. So when you start getting healed, you can come on this TV network. And you own your uniqueness. You own your voice. Your own just being different. I don't sound like nobody else. <laughs> There's no other show on here like mine. And when you come, there will not be an interview or author or minister or entrepreneur, whatever it is you do. Nobody will sound like you, even if they're doing what you're doing. You got your own twist on it, your own uniqueness. Okay? So, for the month of February, let me tell you what's going on. Connect with me if you would like to come and share. We'll be on here for probably a good 30 minutes to an hour, and we'll talk about you. We will talk about you, and we will promote what it is that you're doing. Okay? Your name will be going across the screen, right? Your product, your link. And that will begin to bring you followers. It'll begin to bring you in some revenue, okay? We gotta help each other. And so since I, I got this platform, come on, let me help you. Let me partner with you, okay? So if you are interested in being one of my guests, um, the information is in the bio at the top. It says, um, let's see, it says show more. So if you look at the top, it's going to say show more. The bio is up there and all of my information is up there as well. And for the month of February, listen, for you to come on and be a guest and promote your business and promote what you're doing, it's only $20.21, $20.21 cents. That's it. And if you would like to uh, learn how to get your own TV network, I can help you. If you feel like this is something you want to do on a regular basis, maybe you want to teach classes, maybe you want to just get on here and sing, maybe you want to get on here and, I don't know, whatever it is that you do. Maybe you want to read your book. You know, Maybe you want to do an audio book. Maybe you want to teach some classes. Maybe you want to cook. Well, if you believe it's your time and your season for your own TV network, connect with me because I got the hookup. All right? So, again, follow me on Facebook. I have a private Facebook group, okay? This is important. What I put in that group, and a lot of things about to go in there, when I put that stuff in that group, it won't be on my main page. So you want to connect to my Status Changes Wellness private Facebook, okay? And then subscribe to my YouTube channel because I also post videos there. Lastly, like my channel, follow me, and um, subscribe. There is a subscription that will I will start on this month as well. Um, save my link in if you got my phone number or whatever save the link lastly you can watch me on Roku if you have Roku at your house 
You can watch me on your smart TV. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Well, this is the end of our broadcast on tonight. Um, there are several other videos in here that you can go and watch. This is a 24-hour broadcast. So there are videos that you can watch anytime. Um, keep following me. Stay in the know because we got some more broadcasts that will be coming in the daytime as well as classes. I will be hosting some sewing classes and I also will be hosting... Um, so um, I'll have a, uh, we're going to do a challenge. It's going to be a, a smoothie and salad, salad challenge. But what I'm going to do is teach you how to create um, several different smoothies that are healthy for you. Okay. And then salads. Most of the time we think salads is just lettuce and tomato, but there's so many salads that you, you can make a variety of salads. So we're going to be having different classes on here and, um, some of these classes, they will be pay-per-view. So that means that you will um, be on pay-per-view. It will be a private, um, it will be a private show just for those who um, pay for the pay-per-view. So just want to let you know that more is coming. More is coming. I have another channel that's, that's coming as well. It's going to be my ministry channel. So that channel, it will have, I'll be on there preaching the gospel be on there praying and interceding for you. There'll be some dancers and some worship. So that channel is coming this month as well. So that channel will be different from this channel, but that will be geared towards our ministry. And um, so those of you who are in the five-fold, you know, um, I definitely will want you to come on and be my guest as well. And... Um, you know, teach, preach, prophesy, pray. Uh, if you're a prophetic dancer, a worship dancer, uh, however the Lord uses you in the kingdom. So that channel will be for you. All right. Well, I am Serafia Hall. This is Status Changers Wellness TV Network, which is your network. I thank you again for joining. I shall see you next Wednesday. Same time, same place. Good night.